Greetings to you, the beloved members of the Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church in the great little city and community of New Market, Alabama. It is a joy to greet you again in the love of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you are prospering, as I always say, as much as your soul is prospering as well. We certainly thank God for all of the blessings and benefits that he has allowed us to enjoy all the way through this year. It's hard to believe that we're already at the 12th month, the final month of 2021. And somebody may say, I'm glad about it. Amen. Out of all that you've had to go through and of all that you, ex that you have experienced and all that you've had to endure, it has been a journey. But certainly you are thankful and I'm thankful to God that he has allowed us to see this day. This day we've never seen before. We don't know what all is going to be in it, but we believe that there's a measure of grace that's going to get us through it. And that's where we hang our hope. And we pray that you are uh, joyous, that you're happy, you're feeling the blessings of God as much as you may feel the weight of the world at times. I pray that you also know the Lord's peace, the Lord's comfort, the Lord's strength, and the Lord's joy. Those things, my friend, will get you through even the most difficult moments of your life. We've come to this place at the end of the year. We're certainly thanking God that we've had opportunity to meet in person thus far since the month of March without incident, without having to close our doors. We've been able to continue to progress. We certainly thank God for the welcoming back of many members that have come back already and others who are on the way. We encourage those who have not to prayerfully consider joining with us again. We do have several weeks left in our midweek sessions. Of course, the 11 o'clock hour, we do the moments of meditation. Then at 6.30 p.m., we have three life groups that are meeting right now. We have the adult Bible study in the sanctuary. We have the youth that are meeting over in the Life Center. And then, of course, we'll have the life in the word experience over in the old children church present conference room. Amen. I'm trying to get that thing right. Present conference room adjacent to uh, the sanctuary. So please, ma'am, please, sir, preferably consider joining with us in that hour of discipleship, the training, discussion, facilitation, whatever you want to call it. It is an opportunity that you will be blessed by. So we want to make sure we're belling ourselves to that as well as our grief ministry that meets on Thursday on Zoom still. And then we also have the couples corner that does go forth and the leaders there, brother and sister Joan, and the Kellys. We certainly thank them for carrying those ministries on our Zoom broadcast. And we just thank God for the Christian Education Department and all of the members of the church who have poured into the community throughout this season, this year of, of, of trying and year of, of challenge. You have stepped up to the plate and you have served in various capacities. We've given out cards. We've given out food. You've given away clothing. You've given away resources. All of those things are not losses. They are, they have been given for the benefit of the kingdom. And I pray that you would not know any loss because of what you have shared, but you would know the joy of giving. And that's what all of us want to express, the joy of giving. And I praise God for that and that you will have that experience in your life as I will have that in my life. And God is glorified with all of us. I also want to say uh, that we also have some opportunities to worship together in the coming month that we have some special times. We have the third Sunday of this month, December 19th. We will have our Christmas celebration. Whatever the youth have prepared will take place on that day. And whatever capacity it will be will be on the third Sunday during our 9.30 a.m. worship hour. Please share that with others and, and encourage them to come and be a part of that service as well. And then on Friday, December 31st, the last night of the year, we will have our watch night service at 6.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. Our watch night service will take place here at Hopewell Missionary Baptist Church, and our guest will be Pastor Kevin Davidson, a, who is a pastor of the Tried Stone Missionary Baptist Church of Cortland, Alabama. There are members of his church that will be here with him as well, so we certainly want to welcome them on that night. Please share that with others in the community, that they're welcome to join us as well. We have room, we have space, amen, for them to come and share with us as well. So we look forward to those opportunities to worship and to share the love of Christ and just be encouraged as we turn the corner into a new year and hopefully turn the corner on this COVID-19. 
Amen. I want to thank you all for your willingness to submit to the protocol that's been established here. And in doing so, God has blessed us to be able to continue to meet. Let's continue to do that so that we can continue to be blessed. We pray for your health and strength as you're apart from the church, that wherever you might go and wherever you might venture into, that God would protect you, keep you safe and keep you healthy. I pray that God would bless us to do even greater exploits for the kingdom in the year to come. As much as we have done this year, we've been in various places, the homeless camps, uh, sharing food with the school children and doing all the things that you know to do. God has certainly been with us and we have certainly enjoyed serving and being a blessing as God would have it and see fit to use us. That is the joy of the Christian life is to be able to serve in those places where God would have you to be and to know the fullness of joy, that you're not only helping to lift, but you're also helping to encourage, and you're being encouraged as well. I pray God's blessings upon you. There's many more things I could say to you, but you're tired of listening to me, and we're, and you're ready to go on and enjoy the rest of your day. But God bless you. We love you, and we're praying for you always.